Okay, so if I ask you to multiply um, two complex numbers, say in this case we have z1 and we have z2, and if I ask you to multiply them, so this is what it would look like. I've already expanded um, the trig functions, um, and I've and this is what I finally get. You can uh, try this again um, if you're not sure about it. Um, so the result would be r1 into r2, and in the bracket we'd have cos theta one plus cos theta two plus i sine theta one. I sin I cos theta two plus I sin theta one I cos theta sorry I sin theta two I cos theta one and then finally sin theta one and sin theta two. Now if you bring this and this together this is the trick identity the cos theta a cos a plus b which is cos a cos b plus sin a sin b two different angles compa uh, this is a compound angle identity so this means that this would be equals to r1 r2 cos theta 1 plus theta 2 now if you bring this and this together, this is the compound angle identity for sine a plus b, sine a plus b equal to sine a cos b plus um, cos a sine b and the existence of i because uh, sine has i attached to it in the trick form of complex number. So this leads to i sine theta 1 plus theta 2. So this means when you multiply two complex numbers, their moduli get multiplied and their arguments are added and then you get your final complex number but what if um, the complex number was the same this means that what if uh, we were asked to square a complex number or find the perfect cube of a complex number uh, this means that if I square the complex number the moduli would be squared and the argument would be doubled if we had to find the cube this would be r cube cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta so this brings me to the Demas theorem the Demas theorem states that for the complex number z is to power n, r is to power n cos n theta plus i sine n theta. So much m much use of the Demas theorem is in further math complex numbers, but we can use um, the Demas the Demas theorem and the exponential form of complex numbers to find the square root of a complex number, which is a much easier and less tedious way than the usual one, um, the one through uh, the one that we, uh, the one in which we use the Cartesian form of the complex number. So this is all about uh, De Maas theorem. First, we expanded um, the comp, we multiplied the two complex numbers, expanded them, and we and we reached this point where we concluded that when two complex numbers are multiplied their moduli are multiplied while their arguments are added and then we said that if it's the same complex number this means that if we are squaring it or we are uh, uh, or we are cubing it this is what we'll get which leads to z to the power n equals to r to the power n in the brackets cos n theta plus i sin n theta in the next video we'll talk about how to calculate uh, complex the so square root of a complex number using the exponential form um, of the complex number.